Hi, my name is Ed Wooten. These are my brothers, Jason and Kenneth, and we're going to take you on a tour of classic toys of the 1960s by the Deluxe Reading Corporation. The Deluxe Reading Company was founded by Henry Orenstein in 1951 as Deluxe Toy Creations. In the late 50s, Mr. Orenstein sold Deluxe to the Philadelphia and Reading Company, a company whose primary business was running railroads. The company was renamed Deluxe Reading Toys at this time. After realizing that they really knew nothing about the toy business, the company was sold back to Mr. Orenstein for far less than he originally sold it for. The company was renamed once more to Deluxe Topper Toys, and 1964 was shortened to Topper Toys. In this short video, we will show you eight popular deluxe toys from the 1960s. This was known as the age of big plastic as many companies produced giant plastic battery-powered cars, trucks, and boats. The undisputed king of big plastic was Deluxe Ready, who sold toys only during the Christmas season and offered them only in food stores. In 1960, Deluxe Ready introduced the Jimmy Jet Flight Simulator. Jimmy Jet gave young pilot a sensation of a flying a real aircraft. The unit used two D-sized batteries that powered a rotating drum and small lamp. The drum was covered with a translucent film that, covered the, that contained the image of a rolling landscape. As the drum rotated, the lamp inside projected a moving landscape image onto a screen on the front console. An aircraft silhouette connected to the steering wheel on the front console gave the pilot the illusion of flying the plane across the landscape as the wheel was turned left and right. A number of other fake levers and gauges added to the illusion of fun. In 1962, Deluxe introduced the Tiger Joe tank. This toy was huge and could climb over almost anything. It was powered by D batteries contained in a small wired remote control unit. The tank could run forward or back and even include a working gun capable of shooting small plastic shells. This is what the TV commercial looked like in the 1960s. Gigantic! With walkie-talkie operator, machine gunner, Tiger Joe, rugged, powerful, ready for battle. You command Tiger Joe with remote control. Stop. Back. You breach load Tiger Joe and... Fire! Battery powered, the biggest tank of all, Tiger Joe, sold at food markets only. In 1963, Deluxe introduced the USS Battle Wagon. This was a destroyer with detailed military crew, guns, flags, and aircraft. The ship was powered by D-sized batteries that allowed it to roll across the floor with the wave motion that mimicked the real ship. As the ship rolled, a small bell was broken. This is what the TV commercial looked like in the 1960s. Fire missiles! Here she is, Battle Wagon, the pride of the fleet. Battle Wagon, the mightiest warship you'll ever see. Flip the switch and it cruises by itself. Listen to Battle Wagon. Look at Battle Wagon's blinker light signal. Full speed ahead. Battle stations! Get ready! Leadergraph ready! Torpedoes ready! Rockets ready! Guns ready! All stations fire! Battery operated battle wagon loaded with tremendous firepower at food markets only. 
1964, Deluxe Reading introduced the Crusader 101, a bright red remote controlled toy car. The toy did not represent any specific car, presumably so that Deluxe Reading could save money on licensing costs. A full-size Crusader 101 would have been an impressive sight on the highway. The front featured stacked forward-sweeping headlights and slightly pointed hood reminiscent of Pontiacs of the period while the inwardly dished grille and crossbar resembled those used on early 1960s Mercuries. The taillights strongly resembled those on 1948-1956 Cadillacs, while the rear end and overall styling suggested the 1961 Lincoln Continental convertible rendered in molded red plastic. The highly detailed interior featured white bucket seats with white-black inserts, both front and rear, matching door panels. Black carpeting and chrome-plated dashboard and console with legible gauges and radio dial resembling those in Mercury Monterey. The chrome-plated windshield frame surrounded a green-tinted windshield and was topped by working sun visors. It could be surmised that a properly photographed Crusader 101 cabin might be easily mistaken for that of a real car. The Crusader 101 had the additional benefit of sheer size. It measured about three feet in length, or just under one meter, which allowed for some elaborate detail until now unseen in a toy car. The trunk had storage space for a spare tire, jack, and lug wrench, which could be used to actually change a wheel. Twin radio aerials on either rear fender could be raised or lowered by hand. Not only were the sun visors adjustable, the turn signal lever, steering wheel, and gear selector could be moved as well. Of course, no car was complete without a driver. The male driver figure included with the car struck a relaxed pose at the wheel and was just as detailed as the car itself. A remote control and battery holder shaped like an automatic transmission selector allowed the car to be driven forward and backward and turned left and right. In 1965, Deluxe Reading, now known as Topper Toys, introduced the Johnny Express truck and trailer. This toy was not sold in food stores like its predecessors, but in the department stores and toy stores. Johnny Express was a follow-on to the Crusader 101 and used the exact same battery power controller. Like Crusader, the vehicle could move forward and backward and turn left and right by remote control. Topper offered many accessories for this toy, including a number of different specialized trailers. Here is what the commercial looked like in the 1960s. The trucks, the trucks are rolling, the great big trucks are rolling, and you are the man controlling the big new Johnny Express. Turn right, turn left, and watch it go. Put her in reverse and drive her slow, even hit up by remote control with a big new Johnny Express. Yes, get cab and trailer first. And now it's new, new, new working headlight and horn set. Then dump truck, it really works. Troop carrier, driving across a bridge, you build. It even fires shells. Then look, in seconds, you make it a tank truck. Change it yourself. And fill it from your storage tank. Load cargo with giant crane, moving conveyor, forklift. Get cab and trailer first. So strong you can even stand on it. Then build your real trucking fleet with all these accessories. From Johnny. Express by Topper. In 1966, Topper Toys introduced the Johnny Speed Remote Control Sports Car. Unlike its predecessor, the Crusader 101, this vehicle was styled specifically after the Jaguar XKE. Also unlike Crusader and Johnny Express, this vehicle was capable of moving fast, powered by a large lantern battery instead of the small D-sized batteries. The detailed styling, however, was very reminiscent of Crusader. The vehicle included a driver and a great deal of chrome-plated plastic mimicking the chrome on a real car. In 1966, Topper introduced the Tiger Tank. This was much smaller than the Tiger Joe Tank introduced in 1962, but this tank could go forward and backward, and also turn left and right. It even had the ability to raise and lower its gun to it and fire shells by remote control. In 1967, Topper introduced a novel space toy called Johnny Astro. 
This toy allowed a young pilot to actually fly a balloon aircraft by remote control using a steerable air jet. D-sized batteries powered a small variable speed fan that could be mechanically positioned by a hand control. The fan speed could be changed by way of a lever on the left side of the control panel. By skillfully changing fan speed and position, the balloon could be flown in a three to four foot space around the controller. Here is what the commercial looked like in the 1960s. Out of the incredible age of man's conquest of space comes Johnny Astro. From your space control center, you lift Johnny Astro into free flight without any connecting strings or wires. You control speed, distance, direction, maneuver, hover, and land on Mars or anywhere. Get Johnny Astro and land on the moon. We hope you enjoyed this brief tour of toys from days gone by. We've had a great time putting it together for you. So long. So long. So long.